Okay, so the movie revolves around Simon. He's our central character. Um, he's someone who is kind of tough because he's had to be tough. Uh, he had to. He had some stuff that happened in his youth that forced him to have to be more self-reliant than maybe a kid is not necessarily expected to be. And he's a flawed guy. He's someone who stumbles. He's someone who doubts. He's someone that almost to a certain extent is fumbling his way through life. He's about as unlikely of a leader as you can pick. But I think, you know, in a larger story sense, but also within the reality of the story, that is what makes him relatable. It's what makes him relatable to us, and that's why people respond to him, is because he is raw and he is real, and he says what's on his mind. Um, and people sense that he's genuine. Why should we trust you? All you gotta do is look in my eyes and know that I've given up everything to stand here and talk some truth. But he still struggles, and that's what I like about the character because I think I think we all struggle. You know, we struggle with our self-doubts. We struggle with, you know. Why am I here? What purpose am I serving? You know, am I just another face in a million? Or do, am I gonna leave some kind of a legacy, leave some kind of a mark on this life? And um, Simon struggles with that a lot. And he fights against what his destiny ought to be because he knows, everybody else knows. Everybody else is like, you're the man, you're the guy. But Simon is like, Ugh. you know? <laughs> I can relate to that because I hate being the leader in a crowd. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just don't like the spotlight. So I can relate to that with Simon a lot. Yeah. You know? But I think that's his biggest fear. His his fear is facing facing the truth. And that's scary for him. Yeah. You know, can can he measure up to the expectation? I was pretty worried about finding the right actor for Simon. Uh, we had our first general casting call. We had close to 100 people show up. Um, there was a severe shortage of potential assignment candidates. So, funnily enough, uh, a couple days out, Jose Miguel Vasquez, who I had worked with on a short film before and was very familiar with his work, he had sent me a video audition and I was like, well, I like to hear Drew a lot, but for now let's focus on Judd and Saul because um, I don't have any Hispanic Simons. And Simon, <coughs> and obviously Simon and Drew are brothers. So he's like, oh, well, hold on, wait a second. I was like, okay. And he's like, have you ever heard of this guy? And it was Demi Castro. Brought him out, tried him out for like two hours brought him back the next week, tried him out for another two hours, and was really kind of blown away with what he did. And it only later did come out that the reason he knew Jose was they had acted together in a play, and Demi had played Peter, and it was a Bible play, and Jose had played Andrew, which I thought was really funny because that was when I ended up casting them as. I went and I read, I, I got in touch with Tim, the director, it was probably about 11.30 at night when I finally got the sides. He asked me to come in the next day and read. I was reading until about one o'clock in the morning. Went in the next day and he put me through my paces for the character. And again, I had no idea what I was actually reading for. I just knew that Simon was a big character and that was about it. Uh, it was uh, very grueling. Um, like, I, like I mentioned, I didn't know too much going into it. But when I went in for the actual auditions and then afterwards the callback, it was probably one of the longest auditions that I've ever experienced. Um, range of emotions, a lot of layers that had to be brought for the character, and I got to play off of a lot of wonderful actors. So it was, it was intense. It was intense, but it was really worth it. But you know, um, looking back in hindsight, it was the best thing ever that happened to me. And Demi was phenomenal. Uh, you know, went above and beyond. And the movie, he's on a quest, and as far as approaching the movie, he was on a quest. You know, this was his first really dominant leading role in a feature film. And he really responded to the material and believed in it, and believed in what the film was about, and connected with the character on a much deeper level than you could even really 
have a reason to expect they had similar things in the past. Um, and he really dialed into it, even though, if you know Demi, it's, you know, it seems like 180 degrees away from who Demi is. You know, Demi's a super nice guy, he's very gentle, and, but, you know, Demi would just transform once that, once he stepped into the Simon shoes, he became Simon. He was basically unrecognizable. Working with Demi has been really rewarding for me. Uh, ever since the first day that I, he was the first Simon that I read with um, in my, my first audition for this, and he immediately was pushing me as an actor emotionally. And I just I fell in love with him, and I went um, I went home, and my boyfriend asked me how the audition went, and I was like, I don't know. I was a I was like I don't know how I really felt about myself, but I definitely read with the guy who's playing Simon for sure. I don't need to see anyone else, and and he got it, and he's been so great, and I know he's pushed all of us, and he's so committed to this movie and this role. Um, and it's so funny because he's totally different in person than he is in character. Uh, he's so he is the light in the room, and then he's so dark when he'll just turn it on for you, like behind camera. So it's it's been really wonderful.